Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created that connects JavaFX and PostgreSQL. So first, let me just demonstrate my program. It's just a very simple program, which is a connection of a database which keeps friends and their phone numbers. So I just have a simple list view, which shows the name, for example, Dan with ID 1, got the phone number, something. I'm then also able to add some phone numbers and names. So let's say we have Eva, we're just adding some random numbers and then this friend. And she's added to my database and the list view updates with this new person. And we have Dan, Lisa, and Eva. So let's actually have a look at how it works. So to get this working, I am using Maven. And inside my Maven file, in this pom.xml, I have some dependencies. I have my JavaFX dependencies to get JavaFX working. And I also have an org.postgresql, which allows me to use some libraries to connect with SQL, in this case, a PostgreSQL database. So, firstly, I have created a structure where we have domain layer, a assistant layer, and a presentation layer, which kind of resembles a three layered architecture where we have our domain layer, which takes care of the basic functionality of the program. Directly and indirectly, as you might see, we then have a persistence layer which takes care of the persistence, more precisely in this case, my database connection and how we interact with the database. I then have my presentation layer which takes care of all of the graphical user interface elements, which in this case is all the JavaFX components and the connection between the JavaFX and the domain and in our case, the persistence. So, first, let's have a look at the persistent layer connections with the database. So as mentioned, I'm using Maven and we have this java.sql, which is the library that allows us to create this connection more or less, at least most of the functionality. But how it works is we have this persistent handler class, which implements a interface inside the domain layer, which defines the functionality we need from this class. But to get our connection to the database, we have firstly, we created a, it's a singleton. So we have a private static persistent layer instance. We then have some values connected to our database. We have the UL. In this case, I'm just using a local host. We have the port of which we actually connected to the database. We have the name of the database. And then we have the username or the password connected to this database specifically. And at first, our connection is null. So we haven't been connected yet. We then have some setup to create this singleton. We then initialize our PostgreSQL database, which is where we have the connection established. So first we have a driver manager, just register driver. So we kind of define that we're using this org.postgreSQL driver. We then have our connection, which at first is null. Now trying to establish a connection through our driver manager, let get connection. We then use the setup where we have first our URL, so our position of our database, which in this case is JBC, which is the setup for PostgreSQL. We then have the URL, which in this case just is localhost. We then have the port number and the database name. And we then pass the username and the password as parameters. And in this case, I just print to the screen DB connected whenever we connect. So as you can see right now, we get DB connected. And we then have a catch, we need to try a catch. And if something went wrong, we would catch an error and just print it to a stack trace. And we add a finally, which means every time this is done loading, no matter if it went good or bad, we then checks if the connection is still null, which means if we didn't connect to the database, then close the program, system.exit minus one. Let's then quickly have a look at our, before we look at the functionality, we're overriding from our iPersistent handler. Inside our domain layer, we just very simply have an object of our friend with the basic information of ID, name, phone number, a constructor, getters, and a overridden to string method that allow us to actually showcase the information from our friend inside our list view later. We then have our interface, iPersistent handler, where we just very simply have two methods. We're going to be using get a friends to get all the friends from the database and create friends at a friend to the database. We then inside our persistent handler, 
mentioned implementers interface. And we then override our get friends and our create friends. And whenever we want to get something up from our database, we use that prepared statement. In this call case just called SDMT. We then go through our connection and call a specific prepared statement where we're now able to write some SQL. So we go select all from friends, we then get all the information from our friends table. We then have a result set, which we're just gonna call it SQL return values, which is gonna be the return value of our prepared statement whenever we execute it. So we call it stmd.execute query, so we execute this prepared statement. We then create a new empty list containing friends object called return values. And I'm just then gonna go through my SQL return values one by one, which is doing a while SQL return values dot next, and then add them one by one to my newly created list with the return values. We'll just simply go through them and say, create a new friend with the return values from the first position, first call name, go into friends first position, so ID, name, phone, get first, which is ID, second, which is name, and third, which is phone number. And we then, at the end, when we're done adding all the, the people, our friends from our real database to our return values list, then we just return this list. Then whenever we want to create a new friend, we get the parameter input of a friend we want to add to the database. We then take this friend and first we create a new prepared statement, which in this case we're just going to call insert statement. Again, use our connections to create a prepared statement where we now insert into friends first the name and the phone number. Because if we look at the SQL, the ID is a serial, which means it's automatically created and it's just going to go from one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So our ID is automatically created, so we don't need to worry about that. But our name and our phone number, and it's going to be the values of question mark, question mark, where we inside our insert statement, prepared statement, can add some values. So we don't directly insert our strings from our input fields into our SQL, but we use these insert statements, where we just set some values, which is way better because then we don't need to worry too much about problems where people actually end up writing SQL statements the text fields and then they are called and could screw up the entire program. But so inside our parameter prepared statement, we set our string as the first parameter, which is the friend that get name, and we set our int as the second parameter, friend that get phone, and here we would add the friend name and the friend phone number. We then insert statement to execute, that is the database. And if everything goes fine, we just return true. If we get some SQL problem, we would return false. Inside our presentation layer, inside our app, we just very simply have a very simple um, JavaFX setup. Otherwise, inside our primary controller, we just have a basic SQL, SQL JavaFX setup where we have some text fields, some text fields for our name, phone number, our list view. Whenever we initialize, we have our friend list view, get items that add all from our persistence handler that get friends, which we just went through, got all the friends in a list, so we can just add view. And as mentioned, our persistent handler object is created through our I persistent handler. So in this case, even though our handler is a persistence class, is in it's in, inside the persistent layer because we're accessing it through our domain layer by using our iPersist handler, which is the interface inside the domain layer with using a three layer architecture. We then have our, when we click a button, add a friend. We then first create a new friend based on the input from our text fields. And we then just simply give this friend object to our create friend method. And if it went well, we just print friend into the database console doesn't, we would write something went wrong. And then we update our UI, where we first clear the text field, and then we clear the list view, and then we get all information from our database against the list view. So we just clear and then update. So this is my setup of my connection between a JavaFX program and PostgreSQL. And if we just quickly have a look at the SQL, just very simply, we have a table 
with the ID. I mentioned it's serial. We have our name with the watcher, which is kind of like a string, and our phone number, which is an integer. There will be a link in the description to a GitHub repository where you can have a look at all the source code if you want. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of how I would do a basic setup between my JavaFix program and a Postgres SQL database. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.